Hello, my name is Babette Devera. This is a shortened version of the project-based learning STEM presentation for the Scaling STEM Conference in North Carolina, 2012. At that time, I was a teacher facilitator at Anson New Tech High School. This school is part of the New Tech Network. In my experience, teaching in a PBL environment allows for deeper learning to occur. Before we can even teach in a STEM PBL environment, we first have to develop a collaborative supportive culture that supports creativity. This is a place where students can use their imagination, come up with questions on their own, um, without the ridicule of other peers. I usually like having four to five students per group and there would be at least one group leader or manager. That team leader is one component that helps create the culture of collaboration. But also, having the right work ethic helps create the context for creative learning. In a, the advanced stu level student, they should be able to explain the project goals, the tasks, produce high quality work, and be able to meet deadlines as well as support their team effectively. The goal of the group contract isn't just to identify the roles and responsibility, it's also a place to identify how the team will work better with each other without explicitly stating what success in a project looks like and identifying how each member contributes to that success. It will be hard to attain the goals and objectives of that project. Now that we have built the platform for creative learning to occur, the facilitator's role is to inspire ingenuity, creativity, and innovation in the subject and topics that they teach. For example, that project for me was sports science. If you look at the pictures, students aren't doing worksheets to learn about forces and motion. They're playing sports. They're creating labs to support the physics concepts. In order to accomplish their goal on time, they had to meet the requirements of the standards, but they also had to utilize 21st, learning, 21st century learning skills. They had to collaborate effectively and decide who would coordinate the video. They had to come together and critically think about what physics labs they need to develop, carry out, take data for, analyze, create graphs, charts. They coordinate timelines to check parts of the project. They had to write effectively to present their athletes' abilities. And they even created these athlete cards, which were like baseball cards with their data. They had to speak effectively to get their ideas across about how physics influences sports and utilize technology to the best of their ability. They had to embed charts and graphs and make this website appealing to a global environment. In my classroom, we grade for most of these outcomes in each project. And here are some of the uh, 21st century learning skills that they learned. I believe that STEM education through PBL encourages students to think deeply about a subject. Again, there are courage to ask their own questions and then take initiative for answering those questions. So as you create your own PBL STEM projects, remember to include driving questions that students want to solve. Assess with timelines, check-ins, check online games, in addition to quizzes and tests. When you develop a collaborative work environment that supports project-based learning through 21st century skills in STEM, you have the opportunity to develop creative creators, which is needed for the future knowledge worker. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I have a Twitter handle, at Babette Devera. I usually post things that relate to education, technology, STEM, and sustainability. If you have any questions or concerns or want copies of the group contracts, work ethic rubric, or have any questions on some of my STEM PBL projects, contact me at babettedevera at yahoo.com. Thank you.